Hey, it's Midnight Raven, and it's the 30 day health and fitness. Another day in my fitness and health world. And today I thought we would look at looking good from the outside. So we've been concentrating on diet and exercise, but something that can also make you feel good is how you look, how you present yourself. So today I want to show you all the dresses I own. So I'm the Midnight Raven and yes, most of my clothes may be black, but I have been branching out the last three to four months and putting a little bit of colour in. Not too much though, but a rain in the colour. So I thought I would share today with you my dresses. People ask me what is the goth fashion and honestly, there is no particular style. You can wear what you want, when you want. Even my top to say says kind of care, but don't really. That's my attitude towards fashion. Kind of care, but I don't really. So I thought I would show you my collection of dresses. I have just gone out and bought myself some new fancy coat hangers from QD. And they were a bargain price. 30 for £10. Not sponsored. I've just gone out and bought them because I like the idea that my clothes hang on velvet hangers. So the first dress I'm going to show you is this. Look at this one. This is my ball gown dress, I suppose you could put it. Proper going out. Um, really nice. It's like two-tone leveled, as you can see. Really heavy fabric though, but so nice to wear. Um, absolutely love the dress. Okay, second. So I own play suits as well as dresses. Now play suits are not for everybody. They're quite tight. But this was a play suit I got when I went out with my sister. Um, when we go clubbing, it's a nice lightweight play suit. Um, most of my clothes cost me a fiver because I buy them from everything5pounds.com. Again, not sponsored or affiliated. It's just where I buy my clothes from. Uh, this I bought from a shop called Catwalk in Yarmouth and I believe it was £10 at the time. So not a bad price, mind you. Okay, another um, play suit that I got was this, again from the same place, and I believe it was £10. This has got little off-the-cuff shoulders, it's got lace, it's got frills, it, it's got a lot going on. And it's really cute. I don't really wear many play suits, um, but when you go clubbing, you get hot, you get sweaty. The one thing you don't want to do is stuck being hot and sweaty. Let me turn this slightly. So next, I've got this dress. It's kind of like a bell-bottom dress. It's brand new. I've never worn it. Um, it still had the tag on until I just took it off. This is from Club L. I bought this from a charity shop, and I believe it was a couple of pounds. Again, more lacy sleeves. See, I don't mind clothes that are black. They don't have to be pure black, a little bit of lace and everything, beautiful shape, it's going to really, um, if you want to see any of these on me, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and comment down below that you'd love to see me do like a try on so you can see me in all my dresses. Next dress I bought was this, do you see that? It's a pop of colour, I know, branching out. Here we have another dress. That has the tags on it. Never worn it before. This cost me a pound from a charity shop. One whole pound. Haven't worn it though. Not yet. Not yet. I am um, on holiday in September, which is when I'm going to be wearing it. You would have seen this in a previous video. I got this for a pound as well. Colour blocking is it's okay it's in my safe bubble when it comes to fashion i have bubbles that i'm safe with wearing basically this was one of them the teal color was nice the white the black and then it's just plain on the side and you got the sleeves i could deal with that i could deal with some block color not too much though Next, we have another black dress. Again, this is a long one, but it has a pop of colour here. It's got um, a red underlay that shows through. 
So this is a pop of colour without going like too out there because like I said I don't tend to branch too much out of my comfort zone. Now this one when I bought it was £5. This came from everything5pounds.com. I wore it on holiday two years ago um, during October when I went on holiday and it was gorgeous. So you've got this kind of knitted um, fabric. You've got the little kind of skirt bit at the bottom. You've got these little buttons down the middle. You've got a scoop neckline and it was absolutely gorgeous on me. Right in the middle of October um, when it was a little bit chillier it made it perfect to wear because it was just that edge of cold for you to wear it. Next one I have is what I call my funeral dress. Everybody has one. There's a dress that you just wear to funerals. This one is it. It's got a little bit of lace trim. It comes technically with its own little um, cardigan overlay on the back. It's just a plain black dress that I wear for funerals. It came from George. Again, a, another charity shop find. This one, again... Came from everything five pounds, haven't worn it yet, and it's just a normal, it's a really heavy one though. The only thing I don't like about it is when I bought it from everything five pounds, it's got shoulder pads. Now someone said to me, I might be able to take them out, possibly. Um, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of it, I'm actually thinking of donating it. To be honest, um, it's got a zip all the way down. It's still got the tag on it. So I'm actually thinking um, it's from uh, Pure Oxygen. So I'm actually thinking of maybe donating it. But for now, it'll go on the rack. Like I said, I'm reorganizing my uh, wardrobe. Next, we have what I call my Beetlejuice dress. So everybody who's a goth will own what we call... Ignore it, a Beetlejuice dress. And that is a floaty Beetlejuice top, like this. Beetlejuice dress, kind of flouncy. My thing's actually fallen down, so we're just going to stick it there for now. Sort it later. Next, we have this 1940s style dress. I bought this for a birthday party. Um, it's kind of 1940s inspired tea dress. I had the lace detailing. There are actually pictures on my Instagram and on my Facebook me wearing this at a party. Um, 1940s style, it worked perfectly. Went with the theme to a T, as you could say. Um, next, I have another Beetlejuice inspired dress. Another Beetlejuice one, as they call it. Why is it a Beetlejuice inspired dress? If you haven't seen Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice wears a gorgeous black and white suit, and that's why it's called a Beetlejuice dress, basically. I absolutely love this. Very, very light fabric, a little bit see-through. Buttons all the way up. Little collar on it. Perfect. Couple more dresses. Next one I own is another tea dress. Again, this is a under undergarment tea dress it's got a bow on the front it's really comfortable it's got a really deep um, neckline um, at the back beautiful dress not too much of a fan of it i did buy it from everything5pounds.com again if you haven't gone to everything5pounds.com why not their dresses are to die for they're five pounds again not sponsored this one I bought from a charity shop. It cost me, I think it was two quid, three quid, something like that. It's got little pockets here. Don't be deceived, they are fake. Um, but it's just a little kind of short dress. To be honest, I've been wearing this as a t-shirt because for me, I'm not quite comfortable having it that short. But it is grey, mind you. I did get my colours a little bit. Next one we have, again, this was kind of cool. This was one I could wear, like, to work, in the office, down the pub. Kind of had that kind of uniform look. These pockets here are actually real. These ones aren't fake. 
It's a really nice heavy dress, but that's perfect for winter and autumn. Um, and then you've got the line going all the way around the back. Next dress I have needs a wash, but it is a normal kind of tea dress like this, but it needs washing, hadn't noticed. Um, and then the last dress I have is this one. And this is the last dress I own, and it's a green, again, a block dress. Um, really cute, really nice. Again, green isn't really my colour, although it's turquoise on the camera. It's kind of like a olive green. The camera always shows up blue, no matter what you do. Um, and I do have one other dress. Again, this needs washing, um, but it has this kind of um, white overlay, and then at the back, you got these little slits, but this one is going in the wash because I've worn it recently, but it looks like that. And again, it's got the little flouncy bottom bit that I like. And that is it. That is every dress I own. So if you want to see me wearing some of them sometime and doing a little, little parade, then give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. Where do you get your dresses from? Everything in my wardrobe costs me five pounds and under for a dress. Can you say you can get that value anywhere else? I bought mine from everything5pounds.com and charity shops and a place called Catwalk um, where my play suits were 10. So, yeah, if you want to see another video where I go through my tops, jumpers, whatever, let me know. I have tons of clothes. Let me give you a sneak peek. Ah, oh, yes. Tons of clothes. So if you want to see my tops, my under, my um, jumpers and outerwear, give us a big thumbs up. My swimsuit as well is also black and white. I have a thing for black and white. Let it go. So if you want to see more from me, this is the 30 day health and fitness challenge. Remember to make yourself look beautiful. You need to feel it on the inside as well as the outside. And if you want to see more videos, give us a big thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for another 30-day fitness and health challenge video. Take care and thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye.